features that display in the beginning of this episode. Um, as I said in the previous episode, I'll try to make a new display for every episode of Mana Spot. Um, I haven't made a lot of Fantastic Four displays, um, in fact, I think to date, there is only one Fantastic Four display that I have done. It's really um, mainly because I don't really read Fantastic Four comics, so, you know, I don't really have a good idea of what they have been doing. And Terex here is the first build of figure that I built myself. It was standing around so I thought, you know, it would be a good idea to use it in a display or, well, at least use it for something. Um, now, I'm not very familiar with all these galactic characters either so, you know, I don't know much about them. Um, there isn't much action going on here because I was thinking of a face off display when I set this up. I had a great time setting up this display and I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. Yeah, and I might curse a little bit because my grandpa was a sailor and he fucking left his bitch. Hopefully, when I'm rich, I'm greedier than that nigga. Looking at the poor with some Benjamins to laugh with, and I ain't really tripping off your posse with your class. Say if niggas really hating and it's like this on the man J. Just on the man J. Yeah, and that's a Paul Rudd quote. And I want that dirty money like I'm Sean Puffy Combs, and I never change the brakes. Been spending some time messing around with the hand ninjas here. Um, I have eight ninjas at the moment, which is still very far from my long-term target of 20. I'm always trying to keep the army building going, but seriously, these guys cost some bucks, and it isn't exactly easy to find them nowadays. Moreover, with the um, new releases that was and will be released this year um, my army building plan has been sidetracked a number of times this year man I haven't even got myself a complete set of Marvel Legends Wave 2 anyway back to the topic at hand yeah army building is fun um, I like making setups where the hero is outnumbered by um, these army builders, as you saw in the earlier Batman vs. Hand Ninja display. So, um, here we have a display, which is a reminiscent of the Shadowland, right before um, Daredevil became the leader of the hand. Shadowland was, well, um, it wasn't a good one, but it's not bad either. Um, I feel that the beginning was very interesting but the ending felt too abrupt and didn't really have a good flow to it. Still I'm a huge fan of the street level superheroes so um, I think it's always good to read those issues. So at the moment I have 8 ninjas, 5 male um, shield agents, 4 female shield agents, 5 super scrolls, one um, scroll from the Marvel Select, four Doom Bots, and 20 Hydra Soldiers. I don't think I'm going to collect any more Hydra Soldiers, but yeah, I'm hoping to keep building the rest of the army builders. So I'm sure you all know that 
this is Batman Legacy Arkham City Batman I passed it up when it first came out and it took me a long time to get this guy um, this figure I bought it from configure um, you should know who the guy is if you are into ACBA and action figures this figure is cool it's branded under Batman Legacy but it's essentially a Mattel figure and it is very similar to your um, DC Universe classics so it has all the articulations which you get in standard DCUC figures on second thought I would argue that the articulation is just a little weaker than your standard DCUC um, this is as far as the elbow bends and this is uh, how far the leg moves to the side the details and sculpt on this Batman however is outstanding um, normally Mattel will just give us basic sculpt on their figures um, but this guy has cool details all over him um, on the gauntlet, on the belt and the suit even has a cool texture here are Gotham's protectors from the game um, now I have them all and I am pretty happy about it another plus point for these guys is that they are in 7 inch scale so you'll be able to conveniently display them with Arkham figures from DC Direct um, because we don't get many characters from the Batman Legacy line after all so yeah, once again, thanks to Configure. Now here is a very cool figure from DC Direct. Um, here we have DC Deluxe Arkham City Killer Croc. First of all, this guy is huge. Um, he is as tall, if not taller than the Marvel Select Juggernaut. I believe that most people know how big um, Juggernaut is, so that should give uh, a good idea of how big Croc is. This figure being essentially a DC Direct figure has a very impressive sculpt. Um, I really like how they sculpt the teeth and the scales of course. Um, very cool sculpts on the straps too, right there. Um, however what uh, is making this figure unique I think is the paint job. Um, they have just the right colors at the right places as you can see He also has a uh, pin apps all over him um, And they did such a good job at that too The articulation is surprisingly a lot better than expected. I mean He even has articulation at the jaw which we don't get very often and by the way um, this is just my thoughts about the figure and this in no way is a formal review of the figure um, if you want to watch a real review um, the T-Man 92 recently did a good review of this figure so you may want to check that out um, I'll put a link to that video in the description bar Alright, 
here we have DC Deluxe Arkham City Mr. Freeze. Um, I just bought this yesterday, and this is so far the best Mr. Freeze figure which I own. Of course, um, it lacks articulation, but I was already expecting that before I decided to buy this figure. Um, it has great details, of course, as one would expect from DC Direct figures. I absolutely love the paint job on this guy. Um, the blue has a glowing effect, which is uh, making this figure unique. Sculpt and details, as I said, are very impressive. Um, but really, um, I wish this figure had an up and down ankle articulation. Because um, what he has on the ankle is a rotating joint. Which is kinda stupid if you ask me. I also wish he had a rotation at the upper arm and at the wrist like Croc has. Again, this isn't like a formal review of the figure. Um, you know I'm not into doing that. Um, this is just my two cents about the figures. But overall, um, this is a great figure still. Um, just because it captures the likenesses to how Mr. Freeze looks in the game. Um, the lack of articulation is not a big problem because you wouldn't expect someone in a suit such as this one to be pulling off all the crazy moves. That I watched for the devil, that's literally damn true Until he got you, ain't no telling what he can do And I'm a turkey, but bitch, I go ham too That's why the flow raw like the man in the damn fruit A time tick, slowly drop his sand through A try and stick a motherfucker, camp fool So I clean off the top with no shampoo And just thank God for, well, anything he can do Don't let him do it to you, don't let him carry you And let the haters dig, but never bury you And if they acting new, it's cause it's very true, friends are like trustable bitches, very few, it's so real, any realer you can touch it, wanna have a conversation, let's bust it, you can talk about money like bitches, cars, and what's next, and if you talked about me, you never change subjects. I just finished cleaning up my room, and guess what I found? These are barrels from Marvel Select Black Widow, and... The destroyed wall from Marvel Legends, the thing. I thought I've lost this bunch of props back in September last year. And I was trying so hard looking for them, but to no avail. Um, but yeah, I just found them in one of the old storage box. Um, considering how many stuff I have nowadays, I'm sure this wouldn't be the only time I lost and found things. But yeah, I'm happy to have found this. I just got back from watching The Amazing Spider-Man. Um, it was staggeringly better than I had expected. I think the new actor is a much better Peter Parker than the previous actor. Um, I also feel that the director did a better job at portraying the actor as um, Peter Parker. Um, you'll realize that Spidey is much more talkative and arguably funnier if you watch the movie. I um, also am happy with the fact that he now has a web shooter. The web swinging scene is of course a lot better now as well, so I feel that this is an overall better Spider-Man movie, although there is still a room for improvement. For instance, um, the pacing of the movie is a little slow in my opinion. Um, I also think that 
the way Andrew Garfield looks in the movie. Um, it's a little too cool for Peter Parker. Um, lastly, I feel that the movie feels um, a little gloomy and um, Twilight-esque, if you will, um, especially between Gwen and Peter. But yeah, I still feel that it is an overall better Spider-Man movie. So if you are a Spidey fan, you just have to watch it. Here are the Arkham villains which I have. Um, Croc and Mr. Freeze are from DC Direct, while Catwoman and Joker are from Batman Legacy. As you can see, um, they are in scale with one another, therefore we, as ACPA artists, are able to easily display them together. Um, yeah, um, by the way, The Dark Knight Rises will be out here in Singapore on July 19th. Um, I am looking forward to watching that movie. I just hope that it is not overhyped um, because we do see a lot of advertisement for that movie over here. Um, yeah, um, so this has been another episode of Mindless Mod. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And please check the links in the description bar. This is Mindless. Signing off.